Yo, yo, what is up, everyone? We are playing Scuttle Puddle. We have no encounters yet. I'm gonna reroll these two. I think pumping up's really good. I like two healthy as well. It's like my, my spot's not even bad for a two healthy team aboard. Um, I also just love Salvage Bin here. This is a hard spot for me. Salvage Bin's most flex. I'm gonna go sa Ew. Ew, ew, ew. That just can't be bad. Like, this team is carrying me. This team is carrying my whole game from here. Your thumbnails have been great lately, I must say. Thank you. I've got a uh, loud from the, the Discord's actually doing my thumbnails. It's the goat. He's doing, he's doing some of them. Imagine if too healthy right now. Yeah, too healthy would be pretty good here, but then I also wouldn't have the Morello, so. We've got to take some sacrifices. Would be lovely to have the Shen pair here, but we just can't afford to buy it, unfortunately. The scenes, the scenes. The scenes would be crazy. I see like another rod here and this Teemo carries me till nine trust. Wait, I, I thought I was banned from fast nine boards, actually. It's okay. It's okay. We're not banned. Oh, no, Azia. Why would you do that to me? Unless you do it so that I get to see them now. I wouldn't mind seeing both of them stage two. I'm so down to see both of them stage two. Okay, we're not seeing either. Okay, that's fine, though. You have a just level here. But you can't really put anything in if you do level here. Like, there's nothing that great to put in. Okay, the strat is actually to corner Teemo. I think he's the unit I want alive last because he does the most damage. And maybe even something like Zyra middle here. Or like Zyra try and drag them away. Oh, I like this. Like either, it's either corner. So it takes ages for them to get to me. I'm down for top top right. This guy's on the tech. I, I, I think Porcelain's actually like kind of giga broken right now. I think it's sleeper OP. But it's not even that sleeper. It's just kind of OP, to be fair. See the tech here? Now we're stooling for the Teemo Shrooms to work their job. It's some crazy tech. Sell, sell, make 20 here. Not bad, not bad. Shield load is so good on this comp. I mean, honestly, I think, like, Salvage is definitely the best just because I got a full Morello. Like, if I knew clicking Salvage would give me a full Morello, I would have clicked it in a heartbeat. Like, full Morello, he is crazy. There's a Riven. Uh, honestly, we should hold the Riven. And if we're going to hold the Riven, we may as well hold everything. Kind of down to pre-level as well. Maybe we sell the Nico pre-level. Because honestly, our next board is Riven in plus uh, Rek'Sion or tank stats. Teemo should do enough damage for the comp. See, these guys are heavily left side mostly, except this one. Okay, honestly, I think Zara kind of has to... I could, I could just get melee wrapped here if I play it, this guy, but to be honest, like, what can you do? I win this fight anyway, even if he melee wraps me, so it's kind of okay. I kind of have to position for the guys on the right side just because I know I win this fight. No matter what. This board's just not that strong. Uh, I'm kind of down to sell Nico and pre-level here. No reason not to. Yasuo Cho, there's no behemoth in the story we become, but when would I ever play a duelist? Probably never, so let's buy the tanky unit. Oh, oh my gosh, Teemo here, please. Okay, there's no Teemo, but like I might actually have to dig for Teemo now. Rod Alawi is crazy, by the way. That's actually insane. Gunblade's not bad, Archangel's not bad. Honestly, just general tank item, not bad either. I would take tier here. I might even slam Archangel's Teemo now. Zoe in. Zoe in. Why do I feel like Zoe in is actually weaker? I mean, I could five story weaver. I could play this. 
and then itemize Zoe. I actually don't need it. It definitely has to be this. Is it blue buff plus spark now? Probably. Probably is blue buff plus spark now. Thing is, I actually maybe adaptive helm is better. Adaptive helm archangels just get more damage. I like having the spark though, like having some kind of shred. I have kale. I have kale. I do have kale. What am I doing? Use your brain, Tom. You have kale. Why you need? Why you need spark? Oh, that's just insta dupe. Insta dupe. Yeah, honestly, now I'm fine with it. Because Kale doesn't actually shred everyone. I actually like this positioning more. Because now I have Spark. Like, I don't need to Giga Shred them. Would love to hold this Gnar. But I can't. Like, genuinely just can't. Like, I have to sell Rek'Sai if I win. If I lose, I can sell the Gnar. I'm into someone who's not streaking. It's probably pretty good for me. So I'm in Gargoyles. I have Shred into him. Not bad. Dude, the Zoe does damage though. No joke. Yo, that Ari nearly smurfed though. We might have to try just 7 Story Weaver here. Zoe reroll. Doesn't seem bad from this spot. Definitely doesn't seem bad. Another Garen. I mean, we're probably pushing levels to get, like, synergies in. More frontline. Like, now that I have this Zoe, I feel comfortable with my backline. Would be good to get, like, a jeweled, jeweled gauntlet here for Zoe. I think with Zoe, like, adaptive is probably the best, but... It's okay that we don't have it. Blue buff is just fine. I'd even slam like a... Oh. Oh, it's home. Well, this will decide what we're playing, I guess. Let's roll it. I'm probably slamming GS, yeah. I think it's almost always Altruist Emblem. Let's put Wooden in. GS Zoe. GS Zoe or save for Irelia's items. I think it's just GS Zoe. And I mean, it could be GS someone else is the thing, and then I could play Gunblade Zoe. Let's just let's just make damage. Like it's probably for the best. The only problem with my comp right now is that my front line's not beefy enough. Things like Ribbon 2 or Bruiser 2 star would help. So let's hold these tank units. Nice. Good job, team. Guy has like six ghosts. Four ghostly, right? What is that? Pizza Tim. Pizza Tim. Four ghostly. He's dug a bit. Is he level six? I actually didn't see. Yeah, level six. Wow, he's actually on econ par with me. I guess I do have a Zoe too. Zyra 2 is really good. Really, really good. Yeah, level for Nar is not bad here. Takes me down to 20. I get more frontline in. I mean, the most important thing is that I survive as long as possible. Uh, and I probably want to hit the Yone. That guy does damage. So maybe we just do something like this. If I can survive two rounds, then I'll level seven off the new, off the carousel. So ideally, we can do that. I mean, honestly, having Altruist in is probably pretty big here. Nice, Garen's actually clutching up here. Good job, brother. Nice one. And Zyra too, big upgrade. Makes my Kale stronger. And makes my um, my damage input output really good. Uh, there is definitely an argument to just straight up level here. 
and just play this. Three Altruist, two Heavenly. Not be bad. We did drop a Bruiser. So, I mean, uh, yeah, was it Bruiser? Yeah, our Bruiser. So it's a bit, oh no, our Warden. So it's a bit more, it's a bit less tanky, but it's okay. IE here. The real point of IE. Wait, how did I get the crit? I didn't even know where that came from, honestly. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, salvage bin, salvage bin. Never mind, I know, I know. Don't worry. Let's buy the, the two cost bruiser. Sell these guys by trust. I guess if we lose, we can maybe play fortune for a little bit. Oh, I see I'm this. I'm just never playing fortune though. School board scrapper. What a beast. Annie. I mean I have crit, I need tank items, so armor or crit would be good. Armor or crit. Even gunblade's decent. One of these tiers is probably a Shojin, so actually maybe I have Shojin Hodge right now. I will definitely slam TG if I get it. Nice. I tried to bait towards the Bard here. I tried to bait towards the Bard. TG is just really good for me. I will sell Aatrox here if I have to. I'm going to TG the Riven. And have these guys. I mean the man the mana shred. It's largest pool, right? Largest group of enemies within range, so I want her middle. We want my more tanky units on the left side on the right side together. Make sure my sparks near my Zoe. That's also the most important thing. Actually my my sparks not actually gonna hit Wow, this volley is just a mega tank. We got a masterwork upgrade with his uh thingy. We actually beat the volley bear. That's crazy to me. It's the GS diff, probably. Yeah, I mean our spot's looking really good. We do have Shojin right now. Shojin Hodge and a spare crit. When we sell Zoe, or if we sell Zoe. There's definitely an argument to go Zoe 3 as well. I think Zoe 3 is fine here. I don't think it's best, but... I feel like from this spot I just go level 9, to be honest. I feel like it's almost always level 9. Just play like an Altruist, have an Altruist board, or Altruist. You guys know the ones. The Ribbon board. Play Irelia, Lee Sin, Rakan, Soraka, Diana... Uh, Galio, Ribbon. This is the board. And Wukong. I'm missing Wukong. This guy's got... Oh, Radiant Morello is crazy, honestly. Radiant Morello is so nuts. It's really strong. But thankfully, he doesn't have enough trick shot in that I get, like, hit by it a lot. Plus Wukong. This is the final board. And we'll have four Altruist instead. Nice to get the Diana here. You just have to hold these units. This time I need to remember that I have Salvage Bin as well. So I played one of these one of these late game boards once and I had Salvage Bin. It just took me so long to pivot because I sold everything and the items all just popped off. The components. This is Shojin Morello. Shojin Morello. GS. With our spare sword. Oh. Wow, there is another Zoe. I mean, it definitely could be a Zoe 3 game, and then we just play Story Weaver instead. No, it's not. It's a put Sage in angle and just call it a day. Uh, Gunblade here is decent, but to be honest, I just want tank value. So let's just let's just get some tank value. Get some tank value. Can't be bad. Zara's never being 
kept this pet. Honestly, I'm never keeping this either. I should probably keep Silas instead. Silas too can replace like the Story Weaver unit units until we finish the board again. Like I can, I can just play it over Galio and have no KO. It's not the end of the world. In fact, it's really just not bad at all. I'm not playing Zoe 3. Even Thresh, not bad to hold, but I, I don't really see myself playing unless I play the Udia Azia comp instead. Which I could honestly play. Sage and out value is huge. Yeah, it is. I mean, Wukong becomes a demon in this comp. This is a huge hit. It's a huge hit. The only thing is, like, I, I kind of don't want... I mean, I have to play this. I kind of don't want to slam these items. I think it's fine. It's fine. Honestly, it gives me less of a headache later. It gives me less of a headache later when I'm doing my salvage bin. If I just slam these items now and I get shred out of it, like, it just can't be bad, right? This can't be bad. Yeah, the sun is doing damage to me. It's okay. We melted the front line. Get an Annie, just in case. Driven pad. Okay, I'm never playing Silas now. Because I hit the Galio. I'm down for a Rakan. Oh, it actually could have been a Rakan. <laughs> Okay, I could drop Heavenly Arcanist and put an Udia in, but it's probably not worth it. In fact, it's definitely not worth it. I need Irelia over this uh, Sivir as well. Irelia over Sivir is pretty strong here. I could hold Janna. That, like, Janna could just be my next unit in this comp. Like, if I go 10, I have to hold Janna. Just play four Dragon Lord at 10. Thing is, like, I love Lissandra. I think she's so strong. Like, watch this. Lissandra, oh my Galio. It's just not allowed to ult. It's not allowed to play the game. Winnable. Bro, this Lissandra is just perma CC'd me. But it's winnable. Guy's dead. That, that's a crazy death. Did we even get our last augment yet? Because of the Azir thing? We haven't, we haven't even got our second augment! This di guy's died behind before our second augment. What's happened here? It's a disaster! You remember we have a crit and we need to itemize Irelia. And one of the items is Hodge. So we don't need healing. We need like IE then. IE is good. I mean, even double Hodge is playable. I mean, double Hodge is not that playable. Hodge Rakan, Hodge Wukong, double Hodge is so playable. Double Hodge is so playable. And blue buff Wukong as well, actually. 64 to level here. Is it even that much? Just level for a Lee Sin. Level for an Udia, maybe. The hell, Riven. Get this in. Ojai Udia. Thoughts. We just sell him later. It can't be bad. It just can't be bad. I just unleash the beast. Look at him. This guy's crazy with it. Udi is another one of those units that's really good in the ghostly comp just because he stools for so long. That guy's actually crazy. That's an absolute Udi there. That guy stooled for so long and did 2.2k damage. I'm going fast 10, team. I'm going fast 10. Man. I mean, it's so good. I think you always have to take this. Just always have to take this.
Tell me there's no point in hiding. The power of a dragon. I just think you always have to take it. It's just way too good. Like the gold, like three component anvils. The only time it's kind of not worth it is if it's really late game and you don't have an open component and you have a lot of gold to roll. Like if, it, if I got it in two rounds time and I knew I didn't have an open component, I'm trading an item slot for a full item, then it's not as worth. But sometimes it finishes your like uncompleted component as well and it's like, then it's so OP. <laughs> Look at this guy. This is the Udia 3.5 jungle my way. <laughs> this guy is crazy. This guy is a machine. I don't like taking them to cost reroll. I mean, I can see that. I just think the value is so good. Every five shops, you lose one shop. So every 10 gold you spend, you lose one, one gold. Which is basically the same as silver ticket, which is a silver augment. So you're trading three component anvils for a silver augment. And three component anvils in is, itself is uh, a three... No, it's a it's a it's a gold augment, right? Like full item plus component. That's like a gold augment value. Oh my gosh! It's the Titans. Story of is not great. Do I have enough? Yeah, I do. Okay, that's a bit sad. I mean, epitaph's probably best, right? Wait, let me see. Yeah, I just don't get any little buddy's value whatsoever. Ooh! 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 Ew. 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 Yeah, I'm going 10 and playing Udia in the comp then. Uh, I would love to IE GA someone. That is disgusting. I'm going straight 10. Dude, this Udia might even just kill a few Leos here, by the way. I've seen it before. Okay, never mind. He didn't kill a few Leos, but he did a good job. Very treasures. Yeah, exactly. And it's component anvil, so you get to pick as well. So it just has to be better. Am I, am I, am I really going to sack five rounds here to go 10? Probably. I see probably. I feel like I'm even selling this Udia later. Like the Udia might even just take me to 10. Like maybe I win some rounds. I fully could, to be honest. I'm pretty sure the way you're meant to play Udia is you're meant to have like your back line your front line split left of him like this and then he goes through and then he goes into the the GA mode and then they all wrap Galio kind of like Zyra up here instead actually so that they wrap okay watch this I think the way I've done this Udia kills Senna for free as soon as he procs we'll see okay Kane didn't move if Kane moved he still might though. Yeah, look. Like you see this? This is the UD attack. That's the UD attack right there. And now maybe Zoe's second bubble kills here. Oh, one more, one more. That's position and diff. That's a positional difference. That's the UD attack. Nice. I mean my board's gonna be really disgusting at 10. Oh, it's going to be crazy. It's just going to be this, but I'm going to add maybe Janna. Like, this Udia must be getting sold. He's just a beast, man. Maybe he's just not getting sold. Maybe I just play this plus Udia. Oh, I see. It probably is just this plus Udia. Like, realistically. And then we just, like, TG Wukong instead. It's just I lose carry items on my other carries. It's actually nuts. 
Let's go, Udia. Check Discord. It's on Discord. Way at stage 3 2. The recombobulator. I love it. I love it. Nice. We love a recombob. I, I can actually force whatever spat I want. If I take that spat and salvage bin my way the components. I think I'm going to take Rakan though. Just take Rakan. Rakan is just generally good here. I would love to go 10. Um, is there a full cost that I haven't got yet? No. But like also, isn't this just Lee Sin 3? Okay, Unified is like way better than anything else. I would love to play this Lee Sin. Maybe I just drop two Story Weaver here. I'm down. You play Lee Sin. You can have this. You can have this. And honestly, you can probably have an IE. Yeah, I'm down. You deserve it, bro. Okay. I mean, the board looks better. We're getting there. We're getting there. Get the Irelia, get the Huey, and we'll be chilling. Also, like, just the flat value from 4 Altruist plus Unified. I'm 70 armor and MR on every single unit. I mean, that just can't be fair. That really just can't be fair. What is it, two rounds? I mean, I can pre-level here. Down for that. Do I need to deny anything? Silas. Silas Kane, I guess. Yeah, I kind of need this in. Let's just look out for Silas Kane's. Dude, he's such a beast, man. <laughs> guy's such a beast. I wonder if these guys took the anvils. Yeah, they did. Bad play. I respect that. Yeah, I did too. Early saying kick. Nice kick. I mean, understandable we're losing here. We haven't put our cap board in yet. Still playing for our level 10 cap. Hong automatically in. Okay, the only pivots we need to do is drop this for Irelia and this for Huey. And then our board's finished. Irelia Huey, Irelia Huey. Just die really away. But like already this board's not awful, I'm just playing the Zoe version. Oh, I get two full items here, that's huge. Really away. Let's get the Huey in. Shojin. Morello. I like decap as last item. Um, Deathblade Irelia. Remember we have uh, what's it called? Uh, there's no rods here actually. I was gonna say remember we have Irelia in. We have this GS way. Ultra spat in. Once an Altruist spat. Fair enough. Uh, we have another Deathblade here. Honestly, it probably is Deathblade. Then I'll probably use this on someone else, frontline. Maybe Wukong. J Wukong. Need three star four costs I need to deny? Not yet. 
RPG, Wukong. I mean, it's fine. Yeah, these guys should get unified value too. Maybe I just second row these. Uh, Lee Sin. Get them all unified value. A second row idea, first row Lee Sin. That looks a bit better. Probably Rakan, right? I mean, I would love um, J Blue Buff actually. I mean, the board looks really good now. We just have insane value. Like fast 10, all legendary. And my Udi is an absolute monster with the Altruist plus Sage, like Omnivamp. Altruist, like armor, MR. I would love to hit one of these upgrades. Oh, it looks like it's not happening. This one. It'll do. Can sell the Rakan here. We just keep the way. Uh I still didn't hit. Which is kinda crazy considering I'm level 10. A bit rough. There's eight heavenly. That's a little scary. But I just beat him, so maybe we're fine. Percy Boy is super super strong though. I mean I think Lee Sin 3 is definitely an angle. There's a spat, I have an open tier, it's mythic spat, not great. I have Wukong 2 already, so need, no need to take it. I can actually take away for Adaptive Helm Way 2. Adaptive Helm Way 2, I'm down for that. Just put the Adaptive Helm on someone else, Rakan maybe. Irelia 2, Lee dupes. Yeah, at least in 3 is our angle, I guess. We just dog roll for it. If I win next round, I'm guaranteed first. You know, isn't isn't it just greed for blue buff Wukong, actually? I think it might be. Adaptive Helm. I mean, I could slam it. I think it is greed. Greed for better items on Wukong. Let's go. Udi is on the back line. Melee wrap. I just have max value on this board. I would be very surprised if I lost. Nice. Let's, I wonder if my ghost beat the other guy. Let's see. Oh, he actually won. Nasty. This guy's going straight 10. Okay, I think as long as we survive next round and then don't take 20 around. I missed a Galio, but I was rolling for lead too. That's level 10. Let's put Umbral in. I think we should be fine though. I think I need to win next. I mean, no, if I lose next round, I still don't get lead 3 off dupes actually. So it could be a bit iffy. We'll see. Uh, I, I kind of want Kane to, to focus with uh, Udia here. So if Kane walks towards Udia, we'll be in a better spot than if he walks towards my car carries. Nice CC from the Kane. Good ult here. I mean, surely I just have too much value. It looks like I do, right? With the Lee Sin kick here on Kane now. Oh, it's actually kind of close, you know? Nah, we win it. GG, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, subscribe. You guys are the goods if you made it this far. Thank you.